Hello, hello from my kitchen. I'm in my kitchen for the moment and I'm, in, I'm gonna enjoy to share this very nice recipe. I, um, I, um, I made like some months ago and actually it's a infused sea salt and my sea infused sea salt is, uh, jar is empty. So I used last bits uh, yesterday evening and as my husband likes to cook and cooks wonderfully, I'm going to just help him uh, by just preparing for him. So I'm going to have a lovely meal to, tonight. Um, so what do you need? You need just a glass container. On my glass container is also already stickers of what I'm going to put in. So I know um, what's in my jar. Uh, so you need sea salt. You need natural sea salt, not refined sea salt. And if you could find like, like uh, in big chunks, it's called Grossel uh, in French. I'm going to also use uh, today thyme, uh, dried herb of thyme, because I had some batches I bought uh, during the summer, because in, in the summer you've got really, really good um, quality thyme, and then I, I keep a batch and I um, just dry it so I can use it in uh, my sea salt, in my uh, vine vinaigrette, or whatever I can use in uh, during uh, now and for, surely for the winter also. Then I have my essential oils, of course. Uh, I have lime, lemon, I have lime and I have lemon. I will use rosemary and I will use oregano. If you don't have them all, it's just one. It's nice to have just put just one of them in it. Uh, so this recipe is just one recipe uh, I use, but just make yours and if you can just share so we can also discover your your nice recipes so i have like a, a, a soup spoon a tablespoon and i fill my glass container you use glass container because it's very that's better for essential oils never use a, a plastic container and i just use a, an empty one so i pour like three uh, maybe why not four of these um of these uh, natural sea salt then i i use my finger there and i just take a pinch i'm gonna pinch like a whisk and i just pour it in my glass container it smells already delicious i'm going to use a spoon and i'm going to just swirl already the and mix the salt and the, um, and the dried herb of thyme then i'm going to use um first lemon whatever you can use first it's not really very important and whenever you you see whenever i put one drop the second already comes so be careful with lemon it's not an issue if you put two or three drops because it's not that uh, aggressive oil so uh, but it's very nice so you just also can use it for other things like in your water in the morning or in your uh, on your fruit or whatever to have like this nice um, lemony taste I add lime and maybe you ask why do you put lime because you have lemon lemon lime has the difference that it's um it's a different taste it's like more bitter and I like to have this different kind of taste in my um, in my sea salt and I'm gonna maybe add two of these it's a very nice uh, way of mixing then I use rosemary but if you have marjoram uh, marjoram or something else uh, you can also use it. Um, the benefits of uh, rosemary is very good for your memory and it's also very good for um, your uh, cardiovascular system. You can always also, also use it in, um, in order to, for a massage to like have a cooling, soothing massage, but always dilute. Um, then, yeah, as I said, I'm going to put one drop. Oops, you see, second drop comes over the bit, but it's not that that's a problem because it's not that strong as a, as oregano. Then at the last, I use oregano. It's a very small bottle. Oregano is very strong. So I just gonna put one drop and be careful that I just sweat one drop. Oregano is a fantastic oil. Uh, you, you will smell it, it's amazing. And it's very good for, for uh, everything you could imagine with the word anti antibacterial, antifungus, anti-whatever. 
so this is a really powerhouse of of oil in in smell and in taste it smells already unbelievable and then you're just gonna swirl with your spoon so that's gonna be a nice mixed sea salt and then the question maybe you will ask is how do i use this sea salt my husband my husband likes to cook so he's gonna use it uh, and i will use it um when my soup my my soup is <laughs> is hot i just sprinkle a little bit of um of this salt on it i use it also on um on roasted veggies so all really when the uh, veggies are roasted not when you put it in the oven so after <clears throat> on roasted meat or on um baked fish you put it and uh, i heard also from the friend of my daughter who's also a really super cook he uses it uh, on um on veggies uh, like on his carrots on his uh, cucumber um, as an appetizer so there's so many ways to use it if you have a different way to use it just share it with me i would be happy, happy, happy to discover it and to let it know to my tribe so voilà, that's my uh, infused salt sea salt to go very happy that i could share this with you tons of kisses and see you next time bye